Next is number 52. This is Sequoia sempervirens, your coastal redwood. Okay, so um, inevitably some folks will have issues uh, trying to tell uh, Sequoia sempervirens from Sequoia dendron giganteum, but really they're, they are uh, very easy to tell apart. So the leaves are um, alternately or spirally arranged. This is a conifer, it's not a deciduous conifer as we've seen in a couple of the others. Uh, the individual leaves are uh, quite spiny, right? So they're um, certainly not, not enough to, uh, to, to really give you a jab like we'll see in some of the spruce, but they do have a, a fairly sharp tip. Bright uh, green above, the branches are uh, green for at least a couple of years, distinctly grooved. You flip it over and you've got these really uh, bright and obvious stomatal bands below. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to uh, look at some of the other characters uh, for the, uh, the, the leaves and the um, cones, etc., for uh, coastal redwood, but I do wanna point out uh, another easy way if you're um, in, a, in a forest situation to tell coastal redwood from giant sequoia, coastal redwood has hard bark, right? So if you go up, it's not spongy to push on it, it feels like wood. But if you go up to uh, giant sequoia, it actually has very spongy, uh, uh, distinctly soft bark when you push in and, and you can actually use your thumb and push in and leave an indentation. So nice, easy way to tell coastal redwood from giant sequoia and when we do giant sequoia, certainly we'll see some others. So that's uh, sequoia sempervirens.